Yo, what's up guys, Strats here, back with another tutorial. Um, this is going to be a wallpaper tutorial. Um, basically, a desktop like this. It's not going to be like this, but you know, you get the idea. Um, this could be a series for tutorials, like um, wallpapers, uh, just doing different styles and stuff. But uh, whether it is or not, this is the first episode, if it is, if not, and you know. Um, but basically, this is what we're going to be creating. Pretty simple, but really clean and sleek, and uh, kind of sparkly in a way. Um, it's pretty easy, and it looks really nice, so what can go wrong? Um, we're going to start off by just deleting all this, and I'm going to start over and get a clean slate. Don't know why that's red and orange, what the hell. So first things first, you want to get your size uh, of your screen. Uh, easiest way to do this is uh, try and screenshot it. Um, with the Mac, obviously it's just Shift, Command, Free, and it takes a picture of the screen, like so. Um, then that will basically be the whole dimension of the screen. If you don't know, um, it, sh it shouldn't be too hard to find out. Mine's like 27 inch, so this is pretty massive. If I go actual pixels, um, that's how big it is and I can't really see what I'm doing so I have to put fit screen it's not the best quality when it's fit screen but I'm gonna have to work with it I suppose um, but yeah first thing first get your dimensions right and uh, get the size of your desktop now you wanna make sure the layers um, got nothing on it a brand new layer and then just make it black then you wanna make a new layer pick white go to gradient and go to radial change this to white into transparent then just go from the center up about past the uh got to go out of it really to get a nice kind of soft um, gradient in the middle um but that's too bright for what we want so what we're going to do is go to opacity bring it down to about 45 and then merge that down with the other layer um, now you want to pick colours. Uh, I'm going to do blue and um, the two different colours of blue. Uh, but this works with any colour. Just pick a dark. Um, if it was green, just pick a light green like that and then another green like that. I don't know. Just experiment, I suppose. Tweets going off like friggin' nothing. Um, anyhow, create a new layer. Go to gradient again. Oh, I'm just going to change this blue a bit lighter. So got a bit of a difference. And then go to linear. That sounded really gay. Linear. <laughs> um, then pick normal. And just drag it down across the screen like so. And uh, obviously that's way too bright and uh, we don't like this. So what are we going to do? We are going to go to here and change that to overlay. There you go. Um, I'm going to bring this out again, it's a bit too, whew, okay, um, so yeah, we've got our main colour background, um, if it's always too bright, uh, stands out too much, just mess with the brightness and adjustments, and uh, you can make it look really cool, and merge that. Um, now, sometimes you'll get this a lot, and this will help you massively, uh, and it gives you a nice improvement to your work. You can see these um, rings of uh, where the colours going into other colours basically and uh, gradual rings are really, it makes your work look a lot less um, clean. So I'm going to show you how to fix these little cir circular lines. Go to filter, okay we've got to select the layer first, sorry. Go to filter, then you want to go to brush strokes and spatter. Now. You want to set it to 10 to 15, and um, you'll see that it's all gone. Can you see that? It looks really nice. And make sure you've got to move this all the way down. It sounds stupid, but trust me, it's a lot better. Um, and there we go. Not much difference, but if they were right in front of your face, you'd notice them. Um, right now, you want to create a new layer go to brush and then you want to select around 700 of the soft brush like this and then go to your brush dynamics 
Um, go to Shape Dynamics, Scattering, and Airbrush. Make sure all these are selected, the ones I've got selected now. Got to make Shape Dynamics are all the way up. Mine's already done. Scattering, all the way up. Mess that up, what am I doing? Go back to that. Yeah, so Scattering all the way up. Transfer, Opacity Jitter all the way up. Airbrush, these are just selected. You can't change the settings on them, so just select them too. And then there you've got it. What you want to do now, select white and basically just jot around the page like this. Okay, that's that's horrible. Um, but basically it will scatter around some little um, blots of... They're all in the same... But um, yeah, they look better before, but I can't be asked to uh, mess about with it. And then you, if you want, you can select a smaller brush and then get some smaller ones in there as well. Once you've got uh, what you like, go to normal, and you can. There's three options here: color dodge, that looks okay, um, overlay, or soft lie. They're probably the three best looking ones. I'm going to pick overlay. I'm going to bring the opacity down a bit because I've got quite a bit of it here. Um, then we're going to merge down. Next thing, create a new layer, and then you want to make this white or black. It doesn't matter. Just with the bucket. Uh, that'll, that'll be fine and go to filter render fibers um, I've already got my settings uh, set uh, just put around in fact I'm going to move it up a bit so 6 to 8 that's what I'm going to use click OK and that doesn't look too good but we're going to make it look good so I'm going to bring this out a bit then I'm going to make it go diagonal a bit and there we go now you want to go to normal change that to overlay or soft light. Soft light is probably better because it's a, le a lot lighter than the first one. And you can see we've got this little effect. Go to your brush tool, uh, eraser, sorry. Uh, make that around 700. I'm not sure why I bring that down. Then I'm just going to cross out the middle bit and have it coming from the bottom and the top. And that looks pretty cool. Um, next is the text. Just create a new text. I'm going to be using Agency FB. That is bank gothic, so we don't want that. Um, there we go. Going to bring up this to about 300, and then I'm going to put this back in there first. Come on, come on. Okay, it's messing about. No, fuck it. Take off bold, and then make it bold here. Then bring in this, and there we go gonna rasterize that I'm not sure why I rasterize it it's just I like having pure layers instead of text layers now we've got to go to effects stroke one stroke go to drop shadow bring your opacity up keep the distance at three spread up a bit size up a bit and uh, that's pretty much it so 24 22 and that looks pretty cool gradient overlay now you want to go to here we're gonna be creating a metally metallic effect which I've done a tutorial on before uh, which looks really cool um, select a light uh, grey there and get rid of this white well that didn't work did it <sighs> brilliant just select the light grey again and then put one that side then put a darker grey in the middle like that pull this light grey up so it kind of makes a line between the two put another one at the top make that white and then I'm going to make this a bit lighter as well. And there you go. I've got a kind of a glossy effect without using any gradients or any of that stuff like from Mark A tools, um, which is a lot simpler. Um, there you go. Um, copy that. I'm just going to put the designs underneath. So make that about 100 designs. I'm trying to do this pretty quick just because. Um, it will upload quicker and you can still see what I'm doing so it's all good make that bold and then rasterize that paste the layer and then there we go so we've got that on both our text styles there um, what you might want to do if you've got a smaller text underneath like I have you might want to go into the gradient bit and change the angle a bit because it doesn't really look right if you have it straight it will look good and uh, there we go Right now, we're going to create the motion blur behind. 
so just duplicate the strats layer or whatever yours is um, right click the bottom one go to clear layer style and then you want to go to filter blur motion blur and then I'm gonna do sideways first so make sure it's all the way up okay then we want to stretch this out so bring that out like that and then I'm gonna put that on overlay I'm gonna erase the middle bit like that so it's coming from the sides then we want to do this again take the middle layer so you have a, a, the, the normal one copy and copy two. keep the copy two normal take the clear layer off that this is the new layer we've got go to filter again go to motion blur and then put it vertically and then make sure it's all the way up again and just going to push it off a bit more and there we go you want to go to overlay overlay is really good by the way it's if you've got something that stands out too much it's really good to use overlay um, and that's about it uh, I think it looks really nice and I'm probably gonna have it as my next wallpaper um, but in fact no it probably won't because it matches all the dock and stuff but as nice as it is it's really simple um, and won't take too long I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope I can do another one of these and leave your feedback like the video do all that stuff and thanks a lot guys peace if you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing and what's happening follow me at Twitter twitter.com slash strats yo peace